for a promising new drug for those suffering from alopecia. It's the autoimmune disease that causes people to lose their hair. Nearly seven million suffer from it. TJ Holmes here with the story of one man who found new hope after losing nearly all the hair on his body. Hey, TJ. Yeah, George, look at around our audience, all this beautiful hair. Some time went into this hair this morning, right? Even the men with your beard, you put time into your hair. It's a part of your identity and your confidence. Now imagine losing all of it, what that would do to you. Met a guy, and you're about to meet him too. Lost every hair, pretty much, from head to toe. But when I met him, had so much hair, he just got a haircut. Over the course of six months in 2015, dad and attorney Jason Lipkin lost all the hair on his body. Everywhere I went, every time you saw a person that you knew, they turned white as a ghost. I and mean, most people just assumed I had cancer. But Jason wasn't going through chemotherapy. He was diagnosed with alopecia universalis, an autoimmune disease that causes hair to fall out. Every single hair on my body, gone. Here is Jason today. What's it like to have hair again? I think the smile says it all. Um, <laughs> it's amazing, I, I get to feel, I feel like myself again. His journey started back in 2015. At first, it was just a spot on his beard, but later, hair came out in clumps. I'll never forget it. He was showering one day, and I can hear him screaming from the shower because the hair started to fall out into his hands. His hair, eyebrows, eyelashes, all fell out. There were times where I would be in court arguing a motion on the record, and like a judge would stop me and out of concern, and like it would get addressed. Jason was diagnosed with a severe form of alopecia, for which there are few long-term treatments that work. How did you see your husband change? He just was withdrawn. He was, he felt hopeless. He wasn't dying of cancer, and this wasn't, you know, something that was going to kill him. But emotionally, the emotional toll was, it was, a, it was just a lot to take. This is unbelievable. But through dermatologist Dr. Emma Gutman, Jason got a rare opportunity that changed his life, a chance to participate in a clinical trial. I've seen devastating cases of uh, parents and children. It affects their entire life, their performance at school, interactions with friends. It's amazing. He joined the small early stage trial at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York in 2017, where doctors were testing a promising medication called a JAK inhibitor. Having seen patients regrowing hair, it's unbelievable. The trial, while early and small, has helped several participants like these regrow hair. Start taking these two pills and then over time, what happens? It grows, like, it, like my hair is growing. Now, uncertainty. Today, Jason takes his last pills from that clinical trial. We've been told that the likelihood is that he's gonna lose it all again. At some point, At they some don't know point. how long it'll hold on. For now, the couple is living in the moment, staying positive and keeping that hope. Now, would you have preferred to have not gone through the experience of having the hair you have now if it's just gonna fall out and have to go through it all over again? This time, at least I know it's not gonna be some doctor saying, sorry, there's no hope. You know, at least I know there's something out there. Uh, but that hope might be a long way off. They're still early in trials, have several more to go through before this would ever be available to the public. And Strahan, we did get an update from him just yesterday. That was two months ago. He said he is starting to get light thinning of the hair in some places, so he might have to go through this whole process of losing his hair again. But some hope out there down the road, though. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.